Kate Garraway announced the heartbreaking news today that her husband Derek Draper has died aged 56, following a lengthy COVID battle. The psychologist and author, with whom Kate shared two children, had a difficult journey in the last few years after initially being hospitalized with COVID-19 in March 2020. He fell into a coma at the start of the pandemic and became Britain's longest-suffering COVID-19 victim as he spent 13 months in the hospital. He returned home in April 2021 but required round-the-clock care and struggled to return to full health. Kate had been keeping fans up to date with his battle and recently pulled out of all her work commitments in order to be by Derek's side following the former lobbyist suffering a heart attack. Alongside a photo of him, she said, I'm sad to have to tell you all that my darling husband Derek has passed away. As some of you may know he has been critically ill following a cardiac arrest in early December, which, because of the damage inflicted by COVID in March 2020, led to further complications. Derek was surrounded by his family in his final days, and I was by his side holding his hand throughout the last long hours and when he passed. I have so much more to say, and of course I will do so in due course, but for now, I just want to thank all the medical teams who fought so hard to save him and to make his final moments as comfortable and dignified as possible. Sending so much love and thanks to all of you who have so generously given our family so much support. Rest gently and peacefully now Derek, my love, I was so lucky to have you in my life. Kate documented Derek's bid to recover with two documentaries focused on her husband's health as well as her family, with the broadcaster winning a National Television Award in 2021 for her documentary feature Finding Derek. The Mum of Two opened up about the reality of caring for a loved one and the state of social care in the United Kingdom as she collected the honor two years ago. She said at the time, there are a lot of challenges that we're facing now. I am now experiencing being a carer, and the challenges that are there. We all know social care has been in the headlines for lots of reasons, and for lots of reasons people need support with health and social care.